Okay, so I'm back with another pie video, and this time I'm going to be showing you guys Manjaro Arm KDE. And this is running from a USB stick that is very fast that I had ran Kboon2 on in one of my other videos. And I have to say, this operating system from USB stick is amazing. Like, this now is one of my daily operating systems for the Pi. I've used it for the last one and a half days. Only this operating system, and I found it's totally usable. If you like a cool looking operating system, and if you're into Arch, this is a great operating system for you. So setting this up to boot from USB is very easy. You go to the Manjara ARM website, which will be in the description, and you download it for KDE Plasma. Then you flash it with Etcher or Raspberry Pi Imager to your USB stick or SSD. And you just boot, boot it straight up. You do not have to add any files or do anything like that. All you need is an updated EEPROM. And as you see, it's it will look like this. And what mine looks like right now kind of looks like Mac OS. And I made it look like that. So if I'm going to go over the features and stuff too. But first of all, if you go over to settings... On the Manjaro settings manager. Oh, it's not that one. Oops. I went to the wrong thing on accident. So you go to applications. And then you go to settings. And you go to system settings. And this will open up this place like this. And here, what you, what you can do is you can go over to global themes. And there are tons of themes that you can download. I have downloaded all of these themes just to test them out and see what ones I like the best. But there, the community has made all of these themes that you can download. So you go here and you just click install. And all of these look amazing in different ways. You don't have to have this macOS look. You can get this D-Pin look, Orange Blossom. I mean, they've done amazing jobs on these different things. You guys can download them, try them out, then if you don't like it, always delete it again. So, I like this Big Sur the most, because these other ones, like Windows 7, Windows 10, I didn't find to look very realistic, like that operating system, but that's just my opinion. I mean, you guys might think differently. So, you can always go to these places, and download different ones. You just go, Install and it starts installing and then it will ask you for your password in a second and just like that it's installed and you can just click on that big search transparent that's the one that I just installed and you will have your theme installed okay so let's go over some features of this operating system and then I'll show some other cool things so we have applications Development, we have some development apps there. Education, games. I added that Minecraft launcher, it did not come installed. Graphics, we have some picture viewers and stuff. Internet, we have Firefox. I installed Chromium, I'll show you guys the command to install that in a second. Multimedia, we have some video and audio players. Office, we have the LibreOffice apps system we have all our system apps and I did install gparted to edit my partitions and stuff utilities we have all these different utility apps that we that we need and that's about it so I'm a for me chromium always performs better than firefox but that's just my testing and that's what happens to me so if it's really easy to install to install all you need to type is sudo Pacman dash big s chromium. Just type that, and you have to type in your password that you make when you install. And I don't know why it's saying that it's, it wants me to reinstall. I don't need to reinstall, but that's as easy as it is to install. So I did install NeoFetch too. And this is what it looks like. It says Manjaro, Manjaro Arm Linux Arch 64, because this is a 64-bit operating system. And I do have an 8GB Raspberry Pi, so that's a big thing. It runs great on 8GB Pi. 
it should run amazing on the 4 gigabyte too. It shows the packages, the shell, the resolution, and it is plasma, and my theme is the Big Sur, and the terminal name is console. So, and I do have set, that's as much RAM, so it shows all of these things correctly. And to install it, it is the same thing that you have to do here. Instead of Chromium, you type now fetch and that will install so unlike raspberry pi os and ubuntu this uses pacman um, manager instead of apps so that is something that you have to get used to if you're a normal debian user like me i had to learn these commands but now that you know them it's really not that hard it just takes a little bit of time to get used to and then we do have firefox But like I said, Chromium is better for me. So let's show some YouTube performance and show you guys how well that performs too. Like as you as you're seeing, this operating system is very snappy so far. Very, very snappy. It loads straight up. I can make it full screen nice and easy not not much lag and I definitely am not seeing much lag or anything like that in the video so far or screen tearing Yeah, YouTube is performing amazing on this operating system. This operating system keeps on getting better and better every second. Seriously. I can't believe how well it performs on the Pi. If you want a KDE looking operating system, do not go for Kboon 2. Go straight for this. This is a million times better than Kboon 2. And then we have Package Manager, Sound, Bluetooth, um, Networks, and Time. So another very cool thing. As you might see, I have a Discord app on here. This isn't just the web. This is an app, and I want to. I need to thank somebody from the PyLab server for making this amazing app. So it's in the pinned messages, but the download link will be in the description. So it's a guy named Spacing Bat Three. He made a Discord app for the Pi. So if you're on a 32-bit operating system. You need to download this one, but Manjar Arm is a 64-bit operating system. So you go to this Google Drive link, you just click on it, and then you hit download. And after you downloaded it, it should be in your downloads file, in your file manager. So you go over to your downloads, which is already open. And you'll see this download Linux ARM64 TARD at Z. So you're going to open it up. And then what you're going to do is extract. And you're going to click extract. After you've done that, you're going to have this file right here. And what you do to this file, you open up, you see this thing called Discord. All you have to do, um, click on this Discord, click execute. Once you have execute, it will install the app for you, and the Discord app will install. And when it's once it's installed, it will be very easily, and you can just right-click and go pin to taskbar. So I want to give a big thank you to this guy for making this app. It's you get great performance, way better performance than the web app, and it's just cool to have the real Discord app on the Pi. So you can install this on Raspberry Pi OS or Twister or Apple Pi OS, whatever one you want to run. So this is my server, PyTalk. And as you see, I can go through it very easily and it's not lagging. So definitely just check this Discord app if you're a regular Discord user like me. And you can leave it open in the background so it will stay open in the background while you're using your the rest of your operating system
yeah, like I said, I've used this for about a day and a half so far, and I've been able to do most of my tasks from here. Some only things that I wish I could use were Pycus, but Pycus is only meant for Debian slash Ubuntu operating systems, and it's meant for 32-bit. So, sadly, you cannot run this on this Manjaro ARM. And that's about it of all of my things that I wish I could get on here. Of And Raspberry Pi Imager I wish I could install on here. I tried to build it from the source and that also didn't work. But if you guys know any way, you can tell me down in the description. Yeah, so this is definitely probably like number two or number three in my favorite operating systems. So number one would probably be Raspberry Pi OS. And for number two, it would be Manjaro KDE, Apple Pi OS, and Windows on Raspberry. So these are my favorite operating systems that I have installed normally and that I do use a lot. So if you guys do install this, a Manjaro KDE on your USB stick. You can do it on an SD card too. You'll get great performance, but you will get a lot better on a USB or SSD. So I hope you enjoyed this operating system if you do install it. And thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you have any comments or questions about this video, tell me down below in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe.